Tin Swallow Atlantic is a gorgeous resort along the coastline, the shoreline. You know, you have your rooms overlooking the ocean, so when you wake up, it's just ocean views. You fall asleep to the beautiful sound of the ocean, and what could be more peaceful than that? You move away from the city and you come into, you're deep within the mountains, and you can come here with your family, you can come here with your loved ones, you can come here with your husband. It's giving romance, it's giving resorts. I feel like I'm on an island. Good morning guys <laughs> and I am still in the beautiful city of Cape Town in my gorgeous room I'm in my robe and of course I have to start off my day with a bit of skincare so I'm gonna do my skincare routine pick out an outfit and show you guys what I'm gonna do next I can't wait let's go so my plan for the day today I woke up of course I got into my skincare immediately. The bathrooms at Sinsuala are nice and spacious. The mirrors are big. Obviously, we have a view of the ocean. So I did my skincare while listening to that. So today, I have a lot planned for you guys. I'm going to start off by having some lunch at Ariel's. It's a gorgeous Italian restaurant with some nice pasta. I'm a very big fan of Italian food. Then we're going to go on to Diamond Works and try on some jewelry. We're gonna be draped in diamonds, see um, my good friend Jacques' gorgeous designs. And then to end of the day, I'm gonna go on a boat ride or a boat cruise rather. And we're just gonna sail off into the sunset and enjoy, you know, the sunset, enjoy the rest of the day. I also then walked out onto the terrace lounged by the pool a little bit, opened my journal, journaled, answered some emails. So I'm also going to get ready to go to Bocap because I am going to Bocap today. So I'm going to prepare my outfit and head on to Bocap. So after I have my morning coffee, looking out into the ocean, I move on to my station and continue with my morning routine is my most important step of the day which is journaling you know i've documented this whole trip from durban as up until now and it's really helped me you know to clear my mind write my thoughts down and i can always look back at it and remember all the fun times that i had on this gorgeous trip now i also had the pleasure of visiting an art gallery which is right across the Tin Swallow Atlantic, which is so convenient. Got into the art, got to see a little bit of the, you know, the murals, the art, the beautiful art. Um, Gerard, the curator, also took me around. He showed me around. He was great um, in that respect. So that was cool. Thank Hi. you. Hi. My name is Mabakwe Zamutasa from Zimbabwe. I'm a sculptor. Uh, at the moment, I'm working in Cape Town, South Africa. This is kind of... I'm Gerrit van der Westhuizen. I'm a self-taught artist from Cape Town, South Africa. Gorgeous. Love these paintings. Dang. Is there a reason why women are your main muse? Um, I don't. I don't paint from uh, any um, models. Okay. So my inspiration is from what I feel and what I see. Awesome. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think the fashion inspired me so much that I need to think of forms. Okay. Um, and I think it's the beauty of the eyes for me. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is a world piece. Okay. So I work mostly on different techniques. Lovely. That's why you will see I either let the paint flow or mm. I use brush strokes or palette knife. Okay. Uh, so that's also, that's more brush strokes and uh, some flow of the paint. Okay. In different directions. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Your paintings are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for the compliment. Can you take us into your where the magic okay, happens? So yeah. yeah, there was a show in uh, Pranchuk 
I was invited for a show in front of that's where we met. So when I saw his work, we started talking, and then suggested that we can collaborate and work together. And then from that day, we took this idea to another level. Okay, so I think the two styles, uh, if you look at Mamba sculptures and my artwork, I think the two just, um, you know, complement each other in a different way and that's why it's such a unique art. Um, you know, I always had said to Mamba, um, with his sculptures, I'm a painter, um, that we must keep our own identity as artists, but we can yes. still collaborate together. Yes. And it's a, it's a, it's a very good combination. Oh, yeah. And we enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's my wall, very nice. Oh. Create all my pieces. Wow. So I will pin the canvas on the wall and then I work on the canvas. That's why you will see it's different pieces. I don't mm. work on one piece okay. once. Mm. I work on different pieces. Mm -hmm. And then here is my smaller pieces. I create first, sketch them out, and then I will create them on the on the bigger canvas. Wow. Um, yeah, so this is uh, my working space. So mm. yeah. All right. Looks a bit, looks a bit mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. So yes, uh, all my paint and all mm -hmm. my tools, mm -hmm. what I'm using, mm -hmm. my palette knives, my different brush, nice. my spray paint. And I use the table here as a palette. So I don't okay. use from an old palette. I mix okay. my paint on the on the table itself. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is uh, everything I use to create my artwork. Wow. Uh, I think it's. Most uh, artists don't want to work together, so the idea of even a painter and a sculptor working together is so it's a unique thing on its own. So even the, the medium to combine two things that uh, don't actually have a relationship in making them work together, I think that's special. So I see there's a lot of painting, there's a lot of paint brushes here. Is how long does painting usually take to complete? Um, each painting are totally different. Okay. So as I said, I don't work on one art piece at a time. I work on multiple pieces. Interesting. Um, but you know, um, so I don't actually time to a piece. I just when it's done, it's done. Okay. Um, so that's how I create my artwork. Yeah. Oh, wow. Lovely. And I see there's a lot of paintings that are kind of almost full body length is that usually your go-to size canvas size or do you do a whole lot of different sizes I, of canvas yes, yes i do different sizes okay uh, the reason for those pieces are as i said i was inspired by a fashion show the female body. So i want the human size of the piece okay so i think it gives a much bigger power mm -hmm. um, some sex appeal some confidence in that pieces um, and that's why i do fashion show paintings, you know, that's, that's, uh, I was so inspired by Alexander McQueen, mm. the designer, for, you know, the energy um, mm. when you go to a fashion show. Yes. And that's one part of my um, inspiration, too. Wow. Well, the future uh, was just to write more pieces. And they did, still got a lot of ideas, you know, and just show people uniqueness behind this, this artwork. Um, yeah, so showing the art world, some different art and unique art. And we got so many ideas. You know, it's going to take like a while to break all those pieces in journey yeah, yeah, because it's purely like we just started a new thing. It's just a baby. We're still growing it. So it's a lot of uh, we need to dig it. I to Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> so we've seen your paintings, but well, I want to know a little bit more about you. How long have you been painting for? Um, so, so first of all, I'm a self-taught artist. I self -taught. started 25 years ago. Wow. But I'll say the last 10 years, I moved into my own style. Uh, because each artist wants his own style to uh, that your audience can connect. So if they do see your art, they can see it's a 
Caraton at East Station. Definitely. Um, yeah, so I'm from Cape Town. I'm born in Cape Town. Born and bred. Um, okay. I've been like this my third year here in Atay, San Luque Atay, and with my studio here. Oh. Um, Thank you guys so much for coming along with us on this tour. Harold, thank you so much for showing us your beautiful paintings. We truly did enjoy them and I'm sure the world will agree with me. So my day today was 10 out of 10. I enjoyed every last bit of it. You know, from the art gallery that I said I was going to be going to. So now I'm just going to go back to my room, take another tour around this beautiful resort, maybe lounge around the pool, have some bubbles, get into my pajamas and prepare for tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for coming along with me in this episode. I cannot wait to show you what else I have in store.